I just want to give you a sh an example of how sliding friction and static friction are different. Uh, this block is being held up here on this ramp uh, because of static friction. There's actually friction between the two boards that allow it to stay there. Now, what's pretty cool is if I just give that block a little tap, it's going to turn into sliding friction. So I'm going to do that and give it just a little tap over here. And notice it just kept going. Guess that means it's next class. Uh, so it just kept going. And why did it keep going is because sliding friction is actually less than static friction. So sliding friction is a little less than static friction, so it just keeps going. So if I could put a number to it, let's say that there is, uh, I don't know, let's so say there's 20 newtons of force of static friction holding that block there. As soon as I let it slide, by pushing it a little, there might only be 15 newtons of force of, of uh, sliding friction, so it's less, that's why it keeps going.